Yo, hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another video. And in this one, we are going to create a background music, sort of a lo-fi hip hop background music. So the type of music you can talk to, like right now you hear the background music in this video, that is the sort of thing I want to create. Also, this video is brought to you by Skillshare. I'm sure you already heard of them, but I'm going to talk a little bit more about them later. So yeah, guys, let's get started with this song. Don't just skip to the end to see the finished result, which will be epic, I'm sure. But if you actually want to learn more about music production, make sure to watch the whole video as I will be giving some great tips and tricks that you can use as well. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to start with the drums and to find the samples, I'm going to use Loop Cloud because it's the best at that. So I want sort of a chill drum because, as I said, it's a background music, so it cannot be too in your face. So we're just gonna put my samples in here, a hi-hat, and let's see, the BPM, maybe 100, let's see, 85. Okay, that's it. And let's do swing as well. Okay, that's nice. The hi-hats, let's do this as well to have some sort of a variation. That's nice. Okay, that's our drums ready to go for now and maybe I even slow it down a bit more and let's actually go and do the bass yeah so for the bass I'm gonna use contact and my favorite Rickenbacker bass and I already have a melody in my mind but it's still loading so I cannot forget it it goes like <laughs> let's see if I can actually get it okay load load imagine I forget it I don't know. I think that's a good melody. Okay, like this dub bass. Let's make it right away. Okay. That's the bass that I had in mind. So let's see how it sounds. Okay, let's make this shorter just by turning down the out knob. And there we have that. Now some roads or some chords. So maybe we stay within contact. But you know what? Now would be a great time to talk about our sponsor, which is Skillshare. And you probably already know Skillshare is everywhere, and rightly so. But if you don't, Skillshare is a platform where you can, you guessed it, learn new skills of all kinds, including music production. I thought you might be into that. So yeah, there's tons of music production tutorials by professionals, full classes, explaining everything in detail. Right now, I've been enjoying this class by Ali Abdal, Jazz Piano for Beginners, Improvise Like a Pro. So yeah, it's an awesome class. The teachers are really cool guys, a lot of fun to watch it, and I learn a lot of new chords and stuff like that. But if you don't have a piano or you are not interested in learning that, you can just search for FL Studio, and right off the bat, you have tons of classes here explaining how to use FL Studio. I would recommend this one by Chester Sky, Music Producer Masterclass, Make Electronic Music with FL Studio. So yeah, I know most of you are interested in making electronic music, and this is the class for you. Anyways, the first thousand people who click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So yeah, give it a shot, learn some new skills, check out the link below, and now let's get back to the video. Okay, so we are back. As you saw, I actually watched this 
uh, jazz piano tutorial on Skillshare. And yeah, maybe I picked up a few chords. So let's uh, try it out. Let's record it actually. So we have the chords here. Okay, now what we need to do is uh, sidechain the bass. So we're gonna put the kick at number one and the bass at number five. Right click, sidechain to this track while number one is selected. Right click under number five, put a fruit delimiter in here, change it to compressor, change sign chain one, threshold, ratio, and now we got the sign chaining done. And I think the drums can be a little bit lower. Since it's a background music, we can actually have the drums not as loud. Because this is sort of the volume the song is going to be played at, right, in the background. So you need to make sure that it's the melody that's sort of up there, because the drums will just be distracting. Anyways, now let's add another sound, which I'm not sure what it should be. I think some sort of a synth. And again, I'm in contact. Actually, all of these sounds are free in contact. The factory selection. You can just download the contact player, then the factory selection, and all of these sounds are free. Also, the contact player is free as well, so yeah. Okay, interesting. Filter. So I have this sequencer here. I don't know how to turn it off, but I can just make a melody, even though it's on. Okay, I'm actually quite enjoying this melody. Uh, I might change the sound a little bit later, but the melody is pretty cool. Okay, that's the melody. Uh, that's exactly how I wanted it to go. I like the melody. Let's work on the sound so it's more in the background, but I think I'm just gonna put reverb on it and maybe even super VHS. Let's try that. Like do the magic and the drift, something like that. Let's see. Okay, let's hear how it would sound in the background. And so I'm talking over it. It's playing in the background. Is it distracting? I hope not. Maybe the hi-hats are a bit distracting, so let's lower those. Okay, one more thing I'm thinking about is to turn these drums into more lo-fi vibe. Let's just root them to number seven. And just put all of them there. And maybe try to change the shape. Yeah, like that, you know? Without it, it's like this, clean with it a bit more distorted and lo-fi. So something in the 
in between. Okay, I like that. Uh, let's add some crashes as well. So we can use uh, Kashmir spec for that. And maybe we can put like a lot of reverb on it and decay, and that will sort of make it longer. And do high damping all the way up. Okay, now the second drop can be the same, but I'm thinking let's actually change the melody and make it even more simpler, if that's a word. Even more simple, rather. And this is my classic lo-fi trick, this weird rhythm. I really like it. Okay, now that's almost done. We're just gonna repeat it throughout the whole song, but let's just make a, some sort of a intro. Just gonna do an EQ at the beginning here. So yeah, we made a super chiller background track. Hope you got some new knowledge out of it. Now let's play the finished result. Enjoy! And yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned some new things and I'm really happy with this result. I'm actually gonna use this track for some of my future videos as well. Also, make sure to check out Skillshare, link below in the description, get your free trial, learn some new skills, maybe try the piano, it's really cool. Other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.